Are you sitting comfortably? Good. Then we will begin. Hi, I'm Random Chaos and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to make comic book shoes. I found a pin on Pinterest and I thought they were awesome looking so I decided that I wanted to make some myself. I made these first. They're spawn shoes. They're wedges. Spawn. If you find the right type of shoes, like they're not that expensive to make. Those cost me $40 to make in six and a half hours. But it wasn't that bad. I'm currently making a pair for a friend of mine to wear to Dragon Con. And when they're done, they're going to be X-Men. And this is what they look like now. Just get a better view of it. Awesome. I know. So that is just the background. There's going to be more on it. Anyway. So what the shoe originally looked like was just this. She actually got these pair, this pair of shoes, uh, two for 20 at Ardeen's, which wasn't too bad. As I said, my other shoes took about six and a half hours. What you do is you start out with the shoe, plain, plain shoe. Okay, so what you need is some scissors, an X-Acto knife, some paint brushes, comics. I know it's sad. Don't don't yell at me. Um, some Mod Podge or Mod Podge. Sorry. When I'm done, I'm going to put some coats of the outdoor because they're shoes and she might want to wear them outside. They'll make them a little bit more water resistant. Okay, so this is my little setup, and this is a picture that was just randomly in the book. It's got a whole bunch of different superheroes. It's a Marvel comic book, so it's got different Marvel characters. Um, that's why I'm using it as the background, because it's not actually X-Men. I mean, the Silver Surfer is on here. Iron Man was on the other one. The flame guy. Oh, hey, another Iron Man. Ooh. Anyway, I'm not a huge fan of the Fantastic Four, that's why I don't know the flame guy's name. Anyway, what I'm doing is I just, I'm cutting triangles, you can cut whatever shape you want. <laughs> as many sizes as you want because you're covering a big area like it, they don't have to be tiny I'd suggest when you go around the back around this area because it's curved use smaller pieces because you don't have it if not um, they'll like pucker and you really don't want it to pucker because it won't look as nice so okay so I cut up the pieces I had I'm gonna need more what I did was I put some in a little container. This is a was an empty baby food container. Um, so I just put a tiny, tiny bit, which will actually probably do most of the background. Shocking, I know. So <laughs> to sit here and fiddle with things. Uh, this might not be the DIY project for you, just because, as I said, my one pair of shoes took six and a half hours. So I would suggest you have some time on your hands before you attempt this. 
And if you get aggravated with tiny little pieces of paper easily, maybe ask somebody else to make the shoes for you. I'll be posting this on my Twitter, so if you see this on there and you want a pair, let me know, I can make a pair for you. I charge a flat rate of $35 for flats and $45 for heels. As I said, these ones took me six and a half hours and cost me $40 to make. So $45 for a pair of heels honestly isn't that bad. I only charge $5 for my time. And if you live somewhere far away from Canada, where I live, please don't stalk me, um, then I'll have to charge you shipping too, because, you know. simpler because then if you do just want to add characters you can cut them out see where they're going to fit and then just if say there's a little tiny gap over here fill in the little gap it's easy if you say you only bought one or two comics whereas for this particular thing i bought five see it's shiny it's because i as i was going around i'd go about this far and then i'd put a layer on top just to seal it to make sure it doesn't start coming off when I move the shoe. I did that all the way around. I got some on the canvas part right here, but as I said, that's where you're going to be putting your um, characters, so it doesn't really matter to get it on this part of the shoe. Uh, the Mod Podge is still wet, so I'm going to let it dry overnight, but this is how it looks so far. As you can see, I put that on the back. I thought it was cute, so I figured I'd put that on there for her. Okay, so the shoes are done. They, well, not done. They're done drying overnight. Uh, I already went ahead and picked out the pictures for one shoe and did them. As you can see here. I think it turned out pretty awesome. Anyway, so that's the one shoe, and I will go ahead and show you exactly what to do for that. Okay, so we have our shoe. That's the background on the second shoe. Um, then what you're going to do is take a piece of cardboard stuff. Okay. Anyway, you take your comics. You just choose which pictures you want, and you take your X-Acto knife, and I use the words right here, right here, just going to take your X-Acto knife, and just cut them up. I'm not going in between the letters, just because I want as much uh, space covered as possible so it sticks better. So those are the pictures I have so far. I'm going to go ahead and cut some more out and then we're going to show you how to put them on. What I've done is I've just arranged the stuff the way I want it which is why it's popping out, and then I will glue it on. So, we will start. And you just place it. Make sure 
looks nice and flat and then like with the background just place the Mod Podge over top to make sure it sticks nicely. And ta-da! child and watching this tutorial please have your parents cut out the figures do not use an exacto knife you will cut yourself there will be blood and pain edges stick up just brush towards the edge and it'll fill it in a little. I am using the older comics which is a different kind of paper which actually seems to work a lot better than the newer comics just because the newer comics the pages are thicker and with the older ones it's thin paper so you can get it to conform better. Anyway I'm going to finish this up and then I will show you the finished result. Okay, we are done the shoes. I finished placing the pictures on and Mod Podged them down. So now what you're going to do is apply approximately four to six, Boy Wonder came to visit, four to six uh, layers of Mod Podge. For shoes, I suggest using the outdoor. It'll add um, some water resistance to it. So four to six coats. In between each coat, you allow, that's French, I don't read French, uh, apply, as a sealer, apply several thin coats, let dry 15 to 20 minutes in between coats. So then you put a bit of a thicker layer on, let it dry at least 72 hours before placing it outdoors. So that means you let it dry at least 72 hours before wearing them. That is how you create these awesome comic book shoes. They don't have to be this kind. You can make them Spider-Man, Iron Man, DC Comics, Batman. Anyway, that is how you make them. I will have a list of items you need in order to make them in the description, as well as a rough estimate of prices, because some of you might be in the U.S., but what I bought is from Canada. So, that is my tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, please subscribe and follow me on Twitter, Pinterest, and Instagram. Okay.